Welcome back to the Academy, boys and girls. Follow me on this dribble around the kitchen. Starting off around the coffee table. Then, past the piano, past the dining table, up to the kitchen, touch the fridge, back again. Ah! No! Ah, my leg! I've got to be more careful. How about we learn how to make some homemade chimp pads? For this project, you will need a juice or milk carton like this. Scissors and a box cutter. If you don't have a box cutter, you could use a regular kitchen knife. But please ask for your parents' help when handling these sharp items. A sponge. For example, this one was used for washing cars. But you can find similar ones in the kitchen. Sticky tape. And finally, some string. First step. Take your carton and open up both ends, like so. Next, take your scissors and some help from your parents and cut off both ends. Once you've cut either end of your carton, it should look something like this. We now need to turn this one piece of cardboard into two pieces of cardboard. So, take your scissors again and some help from your parents and cut exactly down the middle of each side of the carton. Now you've cut your carton in half, you should have two exact pieces like this. And as you see, they rest perfectly on my shin. Now, to add some protection and some comfort to our shin pads, we're going to cut two strips from this old sponge and stick them to the inside of our shin pad with sticky tape. Simply grab a piece of sticky tape, join both ends up, stick it to the back of your sponge and to the back of your shin pad. And it should look like this. For the last step, we need to attach our shin pads to our leg so they don't fall off while we're playing. Simply take your scissors and make four holes on each corner of each shin pad. Once you've pierced the four holes in each of your shin pads, it's time to cut the string. We need four equal pieces of string to tie around our leg. Once you have your strings cut, thread them through the holes like this. And tie it off on the back of your leg so it looks like this. So there we are. I'm fully protected and ready to carry on playing around my house without the risk of injuring myself. You could paint your cartons to any colour or design however you'd like it. Don't forget to share it with us on Facebook and Instagram.